So it's time for another Pi Moroni product. This is another RP2040, but this is the Teeny2040, the two megabyte version. And look at this. Look how small and lovely that little thing is. I honestly think it's cuter than Captain Resetti. Look at that. Oh, look at that shine. So just compared to the normal Pi Pico, this is the closest one I've got to hand. There's a Pi Pico there. And see how small it is compared to the original. It's got your reset and your boot button. And there's the 2040 chip. But interestingly, look, this has got a USB-C. This is a two megabyte version. Uh, if you look at the back of it, it says two megabyte there. But you can also get a eight megabyte. But I wanted this for a specific project. And the fact that it was little, it was great. I mean, more expensive six pounds for this as opposed to the standard one. Quite a beautiful little device. So I've soldered some headers onto it. I've decided I wasn't going to show you that because you've seen me soldering headers on lots of times. Let's try and plug it in. I wonder if it's got a blink sketch on it or something. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this has got three colour LEDs there. So let's try something with this. Well, seeing as I've been playing with OLEDs recently, let's set up an OLED on it. That's going to be relatively easy. What's nice about this is up here, you've got quite big silk screen on it that says what each pin does so you can see the second pin down on that side is the negative and then below that is three volts it's five volts on the pin the top side so that's easy enough to put in to my oled board thankfully the sda and the sd clock are both on pins zero and one at the top there again so let's try that may or may not be the right way around i think the first one is data so pin zero's data i think so let's try it like that so let's load up thunny so i've flashed the uf2 file to this i've flashed a relatively new version let's just have a look at that it's 1.18 this is just a standard raspberry pi MicroPython build it's not a special build i've used on it just a standard one i decided on this occasion let's draw some circles i've not drawn any circles before so uh here's the circle routine the standard oled doesn't have a circle routine on it a bit like the triangles um, but it can draw lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. Tony to go seems to be having a lot of fun doing all of the primitives in Python. So this is borrowed from him. And so that defines my circle. And I'm just going to turn a circle on and off. And hopefully, if this works right, this will drive this OLED board. I've saved the SSD 1306 onto the flash on there. See if it will work. And there you go. So two alternating circles or you might say it's a very slow bouncing ball animation so there it is it's the teeny 2040 and made by pi moroni the two meg version of it is fine for what i want to do with it just drive a simple one of these displays uh, in a small thing worth buying for that just looking at the little color led as well so we can address that by sending different, I assume it's PWM, out to GP18, 19 and 20. See, this side is pretty much the same as the Pi Pico, but this, on the Pi Pico we've got more ports as well. But for driving a screen, this is fine. So that's the Teeny 2040 from Pi Moroni. Bye.